good morning slash afternoon. Yeah, good it's afternoon. It's barely afternoon. We went and restocked at the Walmart in Joshua Tree. Ate breakfast, got some coffee. Went in the north entrance, and we are now in Joshua Tree. As you know, National Park rule, can't really film. Uh, we're in our vehicle, so we can film in here. Um, and we are at Split Rock, I believe it's called. Split Rock and Live Oak, they're both across from each other. They say no RVs down those side roads. Technically, we're like an RV slash van, so I don't know. It identifies as a van. It's Ford Transit, so <laughs> that's all that matters. But we parked on the side of the road just to leave space. It's uh, spring break. So it's a little busy here. But we're gonna go check that out. Um, when we can, we'll grab some clips here or there, you know, in the van, uh, but trying to follow the rules so we don't get fined. So let's go check this out. And the one thing nice about national parks is they have vault toilets everywhere. So we actually had our cassette full so we dumped it, and now Brittany can use the bathroom in here, which is much cleaner and nicer. It doesn't stink. And they actually had public trash disposal right here. So we emptied our trash, and now we're fueled up, ready to go. And then before we leave the park, we'll probably stop and just dump the cassette again, even though it won't have much in it. But why not, you know? So this is beautiful, though. All the Joshua trees everywhere. But let's... uh get back on to the next destination here in the park. Really beautiful day, uh, below 70s, breeze, can't complain. Outfit change up. <laughs> That's actually because we're gonna take some pictures for the supplement sponsor, uh, Bucked Up. Code NK20 if you'd like <laughs> to save. Yeah, we got all kinds of stuff, you know, amino acids, pre-workouts, proteins. Seasonings. Seasonings, really cool clothing, um, greens products, uh, like a greens drink, a morning greens drink. Way cheaper than that one you see advertised on all the uh, YouTube videos. You guys probably know what we're <laughs> talking about. Yeah, but, um, you know, multivitamins, every kind of herb vitamin you can think of. So definitely give them a, a check them out if you want to support us. Uh, you know, really good multivitamin uh, gummies, apple cider vinegar gummies, vitamin D, um, elderberry, all kinds of stuff. So just a little plug. But um, actually the reason I was picking up the camera right now is we made it to our next stop. But I wanted to show you guys this. So we have the Winnebago Travato, we had a storyteller, and now we have the Echo. Well, we love Volta. Volta's amazing. The recharge times while driving is amazing. We're actually gonna get a different alternator, second alternator put in here, that is gonna give us almost, or basically the same as the Volta charge times. That's the game plan. But right now, we're in the sun, we got solar coming in, we have 470 watts. 450? I can't think about it off my head. <laughs> Around there, 450, 470 in that area. Um, and we're parked, you know, low idle. Volta needs to be high idle. Uh, low idle on this so we still get a charge. And take a look at this. And we're running the AC right now full blast for the cats because it is hot and sunny out. Look at this. We are putting in positive right now. 99%, we've been running this the whole time we've been in here. When we drive, it picks up speed, you know, charging speeds, brings in more. Now let me turn the Echo off, and as you can see, right now, we're parked next to some uh, Joshua trees that are blocking some of our panels up above us. But you can see, we have one day, seven hours right now, currently. Pretty spectacular. Neil's literally crawling under the van right now. Got it. We had this thing just trailing. I don't know what the heck that goes to, but it is what it is. Got it off. So we made it to Keys View. They had a warning about like RVs and stuff that the road's pretty narrow, but Echo fits perfectly fine. So if you're in a class, uh, class C or obviously a class B, you're good to go. Let's go take a look at this beautiful view that everybody said is a must-see. 
like a close-up. <laughs> I spot Wilson over there. Hi, Wilson. Looks pretty small. <laughs> Key's view did not disappoint. Definitely a beautiful spot, a must to see. So we're stopping for a late lunch. It's uh, right around 3 p.m. or so, a little after three. Just making some sandwiches, and then we got some protein chips that we bought at the store to try those. See how those are, but not a bad view out there. We wanted to stop at the cactuses. Yeah, we tried to stop at the uh, cactus field, or I don't know exactly. I what forgot it was what it was called now. But <laughs> it was packed, yeah. so we just found another pull off. Nobody here, and then we're gonna eat, make our way down to the uh, oasis area, Cottonwood Oasis. So that's supposed to be beautiful. It's just a rare area where water comes up out of the ground and just obviously plants grow like crazy there. But on another note, we got all the fans open, the windows cracked in the locked position because we have discovered, so excuse my whole thing earlier about, wow, this is amazing, our battery usage, etc. our AC is not working. That's an issue because we're headed to Arizona and it's gonna be in the mid to high 80s. So uh, I'm hoping it's just the easy start on our AC, which tends to be a big reported issue that it wasn't programmed from the factory. And when we bought this, it was in December, the end of December, it was cold out. So when we tested the AC, and then also when I tested it about a month later, it was still fairly cold out, so it felt very cold. It is not working though, because I'm able to verify that, obviously by touch up here. We got a uh, vent right there, because ours is ducted but also because I can look at the app that I was showing you guys earlier, the Lithionics app, our batteries, and there is no change in high AC or high fan, low fan, low AC, there's no change in draw. So it's not working, it's just running as a fan. So I'm hoping it's just that easy start. I need to, I have the app, I just need to go in there, do the settings when we have cell service, or if we throw Starlink up, and hopefully that fixes it. If not, <sighs> it's gonna suck because it's gonna have to go to a dealer and probably either have a compressor changed or the whole unit changed, which is gonna really suck. But anyways, I'm rambling. Time for us to eat lunch and then we're gonna continue our journey towards the south entrance of Joshua Tree. So we're feeling a little tired from our sandwiches and chips, which by the way, Quest protein chips are amazing. <laughs> They're a little pricey, but if you're looking for like a better quality chip with some more protein, less carbs, that's where it's at right there. But uh, we're a little bogged down right now and we want to get to this, uh, this Palm Oasis down here. But this is Turkey Flats right now that we're looking at. And it's where the two deserts meet each other. What is it, the Mojave? And the Colorado. And the Colorado River, yeah, or river. Desert. Colorado Desert. So it's where they meet. So let me flip your guys around and show you that. So I don't know if you can see that out there. You see that line at the bottom of the, uh, the foothills there? Let me zoom in. That's where they meet. So you can see the distinct difference in the two uh, different deserts. It's pretty, pretty neat. But let's continue on. If you've never seen what a palm actually looks like when it's not uh, maintained and manicured, that's it right there. It looks like hair coming down it. And then there at the top, all the new leaves. So we have managed to get make it down to the uh, Lost Palms Oasis Trail. And as you guys can see, lots of amazing palms. So just a, a rare spot where water comes up from the ground and nourishes all this uh, vegetation and wildlife. It's pretty cool. And it's actually a 4.4 mile long trail. We are exhausted, we're not doing that. <laughs> so we really just wanted to kind of see the palms and everything. Uh, so we're gonna walk it a little bit, but uh, we're definitely gonna call it short and not do the whole thing. Plus it's uh, now just after 4 p.m. So we need to 
get to our next location here soon. So we hope you guys have enjoyed spending the last couple of days with us, especially here in Joshua Tree. So as always, please give us a big thumbs up on this video. Drop a comment below, let us know if you've been to Joshua Tree before. And of course, please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. We would love to have you along for our adventures everywhere. Also, if you have some recommendations for some hidden gems in Arizona, let us know in the comments. We'll really appreciate that because that is where we are headed to in the next few days. So we're gonna do some exploring. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see, 